Hey, welcome back, y'all. I'm Gerald David. And I'm Kitty. And this is Two Aprons. Today, we're doing corn and goat cheese quiche. With butter lettuce mm. and ranch, oh, butter lettuce salad and ranch yes. dressing. There's more than just the butter lettuce. And there's no bacon. <laughs> this is one of those healthy meals. Clearly, you know, Why not there my be idea. Bacon? Just bear with us. <laughs> There'll be bacon in other ones. Uh, let's there. see what we got here. Boom. Now, this is a little bit of a cheater method because these come pre-done. If you want to up your game, you can definitely start by doing homemade pie crust, which we might do in a later episode. Mm -hmm. One day, <laughs> when we're feeling ambitious. Eggs. These come from chickens, for those that don't know. These particular <laughs> eggs do. Other eggs come from other places. Oh, true. True. <laughs> Ooh, yummy, yummy. What is this? Fromage blanc. Fromage blanc. One of our favorite ingredients. Mm, yes, definitely. Of course, boom. Scallions. Sorry, green onions. I think scallions are smaller. No, those are green okay. onions, yeah. Red pepper flakes, yeah. which we love. Spicy. Fancy artisanal hipster ranch. Not normal <laughs> ranch. This is that bougie oozy. Can you get in there? Can you get it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Or do we seem richer? Is my yacht coming in? You can, oh, it's not. Okay. That looks well, like, one step at a time. That looks like it has a lot of dill in it, which I love. I bet it does. I bet it does. It's this excited. guy, but we'll go ahead and put this guy in this guy. Boom. That is our butter lettuce, and as we learned on a previous episode, it is chock full of vitamins and nutrients. Woohoo! Chock full. Chock full. Like, you never want your food to really be chock full of anything, right? Where'd that phrase come Not from? Not chock. Chock. C-H-O-K. Chock full. Or C-H-O-C-K. Not C-H-A-L-K. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to Google that, because now I'm just more confused. Because I was like, who wants chalk in their food? Like, where is this a good <laughs> reference for food? Who was like, oh, yeah, you need more chalk in that. That makes that delicious. Chalk. <laughs> we have some radishes, also delicious and yummy. Boom. Favorite corn. And this is also kind of cheater corn. It's already half husked. I mean, yours is probably fully husked. Take a little bit of time, just get it down. To be fair, it's not fully cheater though, because we are going to like scrape it mm -hmm. off the cob. So it's not like we got a can of corn and like dumped out the, That's the true. juice. That's true. That water is or whatever true. is in corn. Sugar. I don't know. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Lots of sugar. Sorry, well, first step will be to actually preheat the oven. Normally, it's washing, drying the vegetables. I know, we threw you for a loop. That's the second step. So we're going to preheat to 425 degrees, and that's going to where our quiche is going to bake eventually. Boom. Then we're going to wash the veggies. And, of course, we're also going to have to husk the corn, which I'll come over here and show you that. A little bit. Yeah, it's not much, but you literally, to husk something, it's just to pull it back. If you have the full ear of corn, you have to kind of get in there and kind of pull it out. You got to get kind of farmer with it, you know? Uh, but it's also how you check into the store, pre-COVID. Don't do this to your corn now. Just have faith and buy it. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't be digging into the corn uh, now that COVID's a thing. But traditionally, you'd reach in there and you could check the corn and make sure it looked the way you wanted it to look. So I'm going to husk this over here. And what he's doing is he's taking off the green part on the outside, and then he's also peeling off all of the silk or hair that's along the inside, and then mm -hmm. just kind of washing it to make sure all of that gets off. It's not that it's inedible necessarily. I don't really know, but you don't want to eat it um, just for, you know, taste appeal. So try to get as much off there as you can. That's right. Just like, and she means this. Yeah, that silky hair. This stuff. So if you've and ever it just gets watched everywhere. Into the Woods, um, you can also use it in certain um, spells for, you know, <laughs> hair as gold as corn. Ah. Hair as yellow as corn. It works. Into the Woods is a good movie. <laughs> I miss Johnny Depp. Come back to doing stuff. All right, now we're going to set these off to the side. Let me uh, wash the lettuce and the onions and these guys. Awesome. Shall I get started on the corn? You can. Yes. Okay. So I've got a knife here, and all we're going to do um, in order to get the cobs off, and this is a little, to get the kernels off the cob, this is a little bit messy, or it can be. Um, so basically, you just cut down the side there, and they kind of fall off. Oh, oh perfect. Yeah. And they can kind of fly. It just depends on your corn. Um, mm -hmm. So don't be intimidated. Just, like, get in there. You'll get enough. Keep your knife sharp. Some of it's rolling off. Keep your hands away. <laughs> yeah. Those are the basics. Yeah, be about your fingers, where your fingers are. Be aware. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. And the radishes are those, um, we just thinly slice these, don't we? Yeah. I'm just going to thinly slice them. I think you have them and then thinly slice. Mm -hmm. Because that just makes it easier. Yeah. Because they don't roll around as much. You have a flat surface to cut um, on. It just depends. Well, if you have them first. Um, I'm just trying different ways because I just wanted to see. This one is half already. Yeah. But I just wanted this. Alright, so we're getting our corn kernels, we're getting our radishes. 
We're just gonna go ahead and keep these in a pile. Radish is thinly sliced. Corn thinly placed everywhere, apparently. <laughs> I it's told just... you it gets messy. No, I it does. You. But there's no way around it. I've tried. No. To, I've tried to be OCD I, with I, it. I could probably put it in a bowl. That might help. No, because then it limits the range of the knife. Oh, that's very. True. And it's better to be safe with the knife and messy in the kitchen than it is trying to be a neat freak and cut yourself. Yeah, cutting yourself is not good. I've done it no. once. So you don't want to go to the hospital during all this COVID nonsense. Just stay away. Not Those even the hospital. Are, like a lot of the time, you, just, you can be fine, but you end up with a little bit of nerve. Not with our awesome <laughs> knives. With our awesome knives, you go into the hospital. <laughs> These things are bad, mofos. Shut yeah, your mouth. Yeah. That's it. Shut your mouth. Yeah, you don't play around with these. He's gonna, he's gonna get you. That's why sometimes I'll even hold it with a fork if I'm feeling like it needs to be done. Oh, you. I do like that trick of yours. Mm hmm. It works out well. So you know what we're talking about. Do it just for. Display purposes, <laughs> educational stuff. Educational. But you pretty much stab whatever with the fork. Oh, <laughs> that was a fail. And if it jumps off, right. you go retrieve well, it. <laughs> hey, that was the last one. We'll just wash it. It's no, okay. no, we don't eat floor food. That's icky. That's a bad Oh my gosh, say. you can wash it. <laughs> You're ridiculous. We don't. Yeah, we do not eat floor food. Don't. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> I don't know why she keeps saying that. It's COVID. You step on things. Do not eat off the floor. It's our kitchen. But no. anyway. But it's also can, our shoes. You so we take not, them to the gas station and stuff. Like, eat floor if food. you eat off the floor, you're literally eating the gas station floor. Like, you might as well go lick Walmart floor. Don't do it. Okay. What's next? All right. So, we've got all of that done. I think you're going to, we're going to cut up the scallions. Because they always have to get cut up. And we're going to, of course, separate the white bottoms from the green tops. Oh, yeah? Because one normally gets cooked and one normally is used for garnish. I'm going to wash the butter lettuce. Wash it, too. And these sometimes will have a little skin on the outside or whatever. You can peel that off, like, you know, maybe deal. Maybe, usually. <laughs> and washing the lettuce. We're going to get that into a bowl. Yeah. That's going to be the base of our salad. Yes, sir. <laughs> Perfect. Uh -uh. You gotta cut off the end, the thing that looks like a hipster top knot. What do we call that? Man bun, that's right. Top knot is actually slightly different. That's what the samurai roy wear. I've actually heard certain people say that's the same thing as a man bun. It is not. And if you look, it's very similar. Um, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments because what do I know? Uh, all right. How much am I supposed to cut this up? Just lightly? Because it's for the salad, right? You're not cutting it up, you're just separating yeah. the leaves. Cut off the bottom and separate the leaves, so you're good. Kind of a little bit more. There, you see, yeah. some of these have this like center part. You want to make sure you get that. Yeah, that's not going to be. It tastes fine, crazy. but it's just weird. Get it out. Some of the rougher leaves I pick out just because they've had the wear and tear of life upon them. And Those we have extra good. salad greens in the fridge, so. Not we, well, they send a lot too. We get plenty. And that's one of the things I always say: be a little graceful when you see your orders. You're gonna look at them like I don't know. It's going to be enough food. I'm a 300-pound southern man. It's enough food. Um, so what else do we need to do? Am I going to clear to go ahead and put these in the oven? No, because we got to fill them first. Oh, we got to do the corn first. <laughs> We've got a little bit of stuff happening before those we've... go in. No, they're not pre-baked. Um... This is my first pie crust experience, as you all just noted. So sometimes if you make a pie crust from scratch, you do something called a blind bake, um, where you put like beans or something to hold down the pie crust so that it doesn't bubble up. And you might um, throw it in the oven a little bit to just kind of solidify it and get it ready um, to fill and then bake again. We're not doing that on this. These are pre-made pie crusts. Um, That's right. You don't have to blind bake them, so we're just going to put them in the oven with the filling already in them when it gets to that point. Awesome. So, so we need to do the corn. Is that what's next? Yes. We're going to we're going to heat up a skillet with some olive oil, and it says two teaspoons, I think, or tablespoons. It yep. gives an amount, but you know us. With olive oil, result. just <laughs> yeah. But it's about two tablespoons worth. Uh, if you count to half a second. You know, Always a drizzle. Um, yeah. And then we got some garlic that's going to go into. It says two cloves. So again, it's going to be like four or five. Yeah, yeah. Um, so much garlic. So while that heats up, we'll go ahead and get those chopped up. Yeah. And I can actually finish the salad. What all goes in this? I know it's the we ranch. We don't finish it yet because it'll probably get a little um, droopy because those have to bake for like Oh, so it doesn't minutes. sit wet or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it would hold off. But pretty much the salad will be this ranch and this, uh, the radishes. And uh, this, isn't of, it? No, that goes no? in the corn. Then what is it? What all goes in the salad? Um, in the salad, I think it's just the lettuce and the radishes and maybe some of the scallions. The radishes you can go ahead and put in. Yeah, absolutely. They're not you just don't want to dress anything. it until... No, that makes sense. Once you said it, that makes sense. 
And we can actually both do some garlic if you. Yes. I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna give you the one. And I'm gonna double check because I don't think either one of us is fully confident in what goes in the salad. We're not. I'm we gonna, both uh, read the recipe just before, and like I think we both forgot some of it. So. No, no, you're right. Sliced radishes in the ranch. A little bit of salt and pepper. I can go ahead and do that. Oops, sorry. Oh, no, you do you. Do you. Thank you. Boom, boom, a little bit of salt and pepper, because for me, the lettuce does pop with a little bit of salt, just about two, three grinds, nothing excessive. I do like a lot of pepper, especially fresh ground pepper on a salad. Yes, all I don't the know pepper. what restaurant, you know, popped me on that idea, but it was a world changer. I was like, what? I can actually do that. Not a game changer, y'all, a world changer. Yeah, that's right. My world is, you know, you know <laughs> love and food, right? They both fight for the top spot. That's all there is to it. Live well, eat well, sleep well. There you go. <laughs> Boom. Now that's ready to go. I'm going to fill these guys away. Yes. This might be close to being ready to be heated up. Or not to be heated up, but to that temperature. We can get a little bit longer, but we're definitely getting close. And usually, y'all, just, um, I, when I'm heating the skillet, just for reference, I usually heat it for about three minutes um, with oil or non-stick spray depending on what I'm cooking. Um, so that's just kind of a good rule of thumb to at least go that long if you're trying to get it up to temperature. If you're doing a steak or something, you might want to do like five minutes um, just because you want to get that sear. Well, because of the sear too though, and we'll, we have other episodes on that, but because of the sear, uh, you can, it doesn't necessarily be a time. It's a temperature. You're going to have it at a high heat. So five minutes isn't exactly right, but no, no, it's no. in the ballpark. It's just kind of longer than the three I just suggested. But really though, with those kind of temperatures, you really... You really just have to get to know your oven. There's no way we can just tell you how long it is, because oven to oven, those minutes change from four to two real easy. Um, and those, that little bit does matter. So you just, it's a little bit of uh, just getting to know your setup. And it also depends on what temperature you have it on. Mm -hmm. Like we keep it on a medium high, so it's a little bit longer. If you have it on a higher temperature, it's obviously not gonna take as long. So yeah, That's get right. to know your appliance. And for a sear, you want that high temperature fast, because it's just about really hitting that outside layers to lock in those juices. Especially if you're doing a no puncture uh, cook, which is like what I do. Never frozen, no punctures, all the juices that were in there to begin with are in there now. It is yummy. It makes a big difference. That and putting salt on your steak an hour before you put it on there. You'll think you're at Roos Chris without the $500 bill. <laughs> it's fantastic. But that mm. is another episode. So just that little tips and tricks as we're getting the garlic ready here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I think this is ready. Awesome. So you can go ahead and drop that corn in. Yep, step aside just yes. a little bit because I like to do it like this. Gotcha. And if you think about it, use the flat side of the knife, the back side. It just I know. I knife. don't like it. I personally don't like it. And I have to sharpen these knives all the time anyway, so the blade saving thing isn't um, what it is. I think I just sharpen them, though, to sharpen them. I don't know if they really need it. Uh, per se, I like sharpening knives. It's not hurting them though. So. No, no. Uh, I like sharpening knives, so that's a thing. It might hurt you if you, you know. No, not hurt. if you know what you're doing. <laughs> you know, hashtag Google it, know what you're doing. <laughs> no, no, no. I just meant if it slips and you, like when you're cooking. <laughs> oh, that's no, what we were well, talking about earlier, cutting yourself. <laughs> the idea though is that the more energy you put into your blades, the more energy you're going to keep putting into your blades. So the time spent sharpening is the same amount of focus. That's going to bring you into the kitchen to make to pretty much pay more attention to the knives. You spend so much time honing that knife and really paying attention to it, you're less likely to take your eye off of it. And that's like a Japanese thing I pretty much just butchered. But yeah, <laughs> you put the energy into your blade so the blade stays loyal to you kind of thing. I butchered that. Google it. It's awesome. It's beautiful. Is that samurai? It's Is something samurai Japanese. Thing? I don't remember. Okay. Can't remember it enough well enough to really quote it. And that was off the cuff. Otherwise, I probably would have researched that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> You're ad-libbing tonight? <laughs> yeah, we ad-lib well. She does homework and I ad-lib. Oh, sometimes. Um, you know, which <laughs> I think is a good time. combo. I think it's all about, you know. Y'all have heard him call me a try-hard before. This is not a secret. <laughs> You're marvelous. You're marvelous. Oh. How long do I need to set a timer for this one? Um, I think it's two to three minutes. You might right. want to double check, but I believe that is correct. Timer going for three minutes. Yep, two to three minutes. You're right. And I'm probably going to do this a little longer than normal. That's why I kind of let it go before I even started that. I might give it about a 45-second head start. Because um, I usually like them a little bit uh, crispier. I like things a little bit on the burnt side. Or as they say, blackened. If I want to be picky about it. <laughs> blackened. He loves if I want to be fancy. Potatoes um, and vegetables. So this guy will come into play later. We'll set that up here. 
and the fromage blanc and the garlic and where's that stuff coming to play? Is that all going to the quiche once the corn's done? Um, I believe so. So we're I think as the corn has cooked for two to three minutes, we're gonna add like the garlic, the red pepper flakes, the um, bottom white part of the scallions, um, and get those cooking oh, with the right. vegetables. And then I think we're gonna take the eggs and the fromage blanc and mix those into a bowl um, together and then kind of add all that stuff together after it's cooked to the pans, or to, to the pans, to the right. crust. And then we're gonna get those cooking in the oven. Yeah, it's not sizzling, so I'm smell this popcorn. That's fantastic. It's delicious. But no, she's exactly right. As soon as this is done, which we're down to like 40 seconds on, we're going to add that stuff. It's going to be fantastic. If your corn pops, you've done something wrong. <laughs> no, it says some of them might pop. Really? Does it? Oh, yeah. yeah I did happens. not read that part. That's you don't want hilarious. it to be popping all over the place, but it definitely, it's a thing. That is hilarious. It's a thing. That is also a sign that it might have been in there long enough. Yeah, as the corn may pop as it cooks, it says. <gasps> That's so funny. Oh, but yeah, then it says add the chopped garlic, the sliced white bottoms yeah. of the scallions, the scoundrels, <laughs> and as much as the red pepper flakes as you'd like. And which course, is all of it for all us. Of it you don't always. ever. No. Just like you don't eat floor food, you don't ever let <laughs> red pepper flakes go to waste. And that is the timer right red on time. Alright, so. Right on time. I know, right? So uh, red pepper flakes, right? Uh, all of it. Is. All of them? Is that what we're trying? All of them? Yep, we do yeah, all of them. Yeah, you're going to add the, the garlic, the scallions, and the red pepper flakes. I do all the red pepper, right? And then we're going to do that for another one. Yeah, all of it. Sometimes okay. I double check because sometimes it's used in other applications of the recipe. That's true. Sometimes it'll be half Boom. or whatever, but it's all and of it. And here's the case. white yeah. bottoms. Boom. And then that's going to go back on for another two, one to two minutes. So we've got two on oh, here. Yep, stir that up a little bit lightly. Do we need to uh, salt and pepper it at all? I'm sure we do. I'm sure we are supposed to do that like four times already. Yeah, salt and pepper, go for it. Boom, Literally that in there. timer. Timer's going now that, oh, I just actually reset it. Here we go. Now that it's on the heat, um, let's see. So now I'm gonna take a large bowl and I'm gonna add the eggs and fromage blanc together and whisk them. And we're doing a large bowl because those vegetables are eventually gonna get poured in with the eggs and fromage blanc. I'm always a big fan of a fresh rinse and a second look. And before we set a table for company, especially for company, sometimes even for, uh, if it's a fancy, you know, romantic type eating, I always wipe off the forks and all that stuff. Like pretty much I just wash everything 14 times. And OCD hashtag COVID. The other key <laughs> is um, when we store these, they are stored upside down. So they are yes. less likely to like collect anything. Some like uh, younger folks may not know that, but you store your bowls and your cups upside down so dust just doesn't settle in them. There should be nothing inside the glass that actually holds your food. Um, but of course, you know, I still wash it seven so times. So in this, yes. and I'm just going to double check here. <laughs> oh, yep, yep, do your thing. We're going to crack the eggs into the bowl, add the fromage blanc, and a fourth cup of water. Oh, awesome. So. There's your eggs. Are. And then crack them on the side of the bowl here. Mm -hmm. Boom. I'll hold the thing open for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And something I didn't notice for a long time, one of the ways not to break the go, not that it's relevant now, but notice how that when she uh, tapped it here, she actually broke it open from the top. That's a subtle thing I just now learned. I've been trying to do it from the bottom, breaking the yolk every time like a freaking rookie. Like, I've never had eggs before. I have cooked 8 million eggs. Trust me. Um, and I've been doing it wrong for a long time. <laughs> I'm wash so this guy. I'm wash this cheese. guy. And if you just, can you grab me a fourth cup of water? Or I'll what is this that timer going off? The, that is the corn and veggies. And, y'all, I love fromage blanc, so I'm actually going to get a spoon and, like, scrape as much out of this as I can. Because <laughs> the cheese is my favorite part of anything. Mm-hmm. It really is. And then a fourth cup of water. I'm going to let this go a little bit longer. Probably another 30 seconds. Living dangerously, guys. Yeah. She uses alkaline water now. She's all about maintaining the pH or whatnot. I do. I figured out that, like, regular water is too acidic for my system. So. Kind of figured out by accident. I just bought her some one day. She was like, oh, I don't have to eat as many tums now. So we just kept doing that. So that might help someone. Alkaline water. Awesome. It has definitely helped reduce um, acid reflux and all of that. And I still drink normal water, you know, yeah. so not always. Oh, we just kind of stir this up? Yeah. And you're going to whisk that all together. So that's the eggs, the Vermont blonde, and then a fourth cup of water. And then once we 
get that all mixed together and the corn is done, we're gonna add the cooked corn and other veggies into that. And then we're gonna what? Say it with me. Season with salt and pepper, yeah, that's sorry. right. Sorry, I didn't realize about the noise. I did the drive over <laughs> the microphone. You're probably like, oh my God, what is he doing? Why would you do this to me? We were friends. Mm -hmm. There we go, so that's pretty good. Here you, you go, kitty. Like this is done? Here, let me trade you. I'll yeah. do that and you do this. Just it's hard for me to tell you without looking at it. But yeah, I think this is done. And basically, you're just trying to get the corn softened a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is done. So what's next? So we're going to add that to this. Oh! Yeah. So this is here. Yeah. Awesome. I can do that. Yeah, do it to the right side because of the egg. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we even have contamination protocols for the sink. So, we have the protein side over yep. here and the non-protein side. I.e., which one do you use more bleach on side? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, that looks yummy. Now we're going to stir that up. Oh, you that looks yummy. And pepper that. Thank you. And I will salt and pepper those. Just a little bit because we've already kind of salt peppered the vegetables, so this is like kind of a. Let's do a little. Uh, a tiny bit. Y'all know how I feel about salt. I wonder, does salt cook off? Is that something you lose in the oven while it cooks? Is there a reason people add it in phases like that? That's or is it just to lay it through? That's a question. I don't know because we do usually add it separately. So Several different components. times. Yeah. And we reduce that. Um, honestly, we don't add it nearly as much as it says to, mostly because I don't tell him it says to. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> that is a valid question. If it cooks off, that's one thing. Like alcohol cooks off. Uh -huh. um, if you put it in a baked goods or whatever, a lot of the alcohol cooks out. Um, maybe salt does the same thing. I don't know. Tell us in the comments. Also, I'll look it up because y'all know I love to research and stuff. Oops. All right, so our next step is gonna to be to take this lovely egg, cheese, and veggie, and pepper, and water mixture, all of the beautiful things that we've mixed together, and we're going to bring the pie crust over here and separate it into the two pie crusts to make our quiches. Duh. So y'all get to see this loveliness. Good old boy, your fingers are rinsing. Okay. You're good at that, huh? Do you want me to do this? Oh, yes, please. All right, so I'm gonna divide this out. Because you're just pouring it in there. That is what I'm doing. I'm not so good at that. Sometimes I mess that up. <laughs> and I feel like that one that I did second got like a lot more corn just because the liquid tends to go first. So then I take the rest of the corn that's in there and just kind of empty it into the oh, first that makes sense. things out. Oh, those look great. Yay, thank you. Those look great. So you just pop them in there? They're even-ish. Um, yeah, so we're going to set our timer for 18 to 20 minutes. So we'll do 19 just to be in the middle yeah. and check them. And if you want to even a little bit, this is all you do. Oh, he's so good. And I don't know if our surface is that even, so I think these are like relatively close, but... They are, but there's a little bit. Now it's more visual. You guys mm -hmm. kind of can't tell, but let's get them a little closer. Oh, just a little. <laughs> a little closer. Hopefully that comes out, I don't know, in post or whatever. We'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. <laughs> um, all right, so these can go in. Tell him how much you love to hear him sing. He'll do it even more. Really? Yep, those will go in to our 425 degree preheated oven. Boom. We're going to do that. And Perfect. then kind of closer to the time they're coming out, we'll toss our salad. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> but until then, I think we're going to take a break and we'll come back and catch up with you guys. So that's in there for how long? Uh, we're leaving at 19 minutes. It's 18 to 20, so we do it in the middle and check. What should they be looking? Oh, in the middle. So we'll come back in eight minutes and check this. Yep. Um, what should they be looking for? What are they looking for to let it know so it's going good? Basically, what you're looking for is just that the egg mixture has kind of solidified and that a knife stuck into the center comes out clean. So kind of uh -huh. like with any baked cupcake, anything like that, where you put a toothpick or a knife into the middle. Mm -hmm. If it comes out clean, it's done. So pretty much halfway through. Um, and we may not come back for this. We might just come back there. But halfway through, so it's 18 minutes. So I guess that's nine and a half minutes or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, you're just going to turn that perpendicular to where it was um, and leave it in for the other half just so it kind of rotates a little bit. But not a full rotation. It did say just turn it 90 degrees. Um, and then come back after that. And so, yeah, stick a knife in it and see done. Right, oh, I'm sorry. Stick a fork in it. <laughs> or a toothpick or a, yeah, right. <laughs> a tester. All right, this is two aprons. We'll come back. Come back to our break. 
Our quiche is getting very close to being done. So at this time, I'm gonna start prepping the salad. We just simple. You add ranch, you toss. <laughs> Some people are uncomfortable tossing a salad. I love it. <laughs> it is. Especially with good homemade artisanal hipster bougie ranch. It's you gotta go, oh, there it is. With tons of dill. I'm very excited about tons the dill. Tons of dill, it's all about that dill. Oh yeah. And that was for? That is for our quiche, so I will grab those. Pull aside. And you see how she put it in 90 degrees? We did that about halfway. You were spared the just having to peek at that. All those look beautiful. Why don't you display that for the camera? They did. They came Swing out those over so here. beautifully. They slide around, so y'all be careful. They want to jump off the thing. Get real close. Get real close. Boom. Oh, yeah. That's real close. There you go. Yeah, that's perfect. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. <laughs> that way you guys get at least one good, good look at them. I know it's hard to... Yeah, I'm using a fork to toss a salad. I'm like, that's not how it's done. <laughs> You gotta get in there. Oh, boom, God. boom, there you go. Boom, boom. Oh, boom. oh that looks delicious. Look at that. Oh, boom, yes. Boom. That does look really good, actually. Boom, all right. I'm gonna take these back. Mm -hmm. Over here. Oh, this is awesome. This is pretty much ready to plate. Yeah. This one was super easy. It was. Mostly so, because of the pre-made quiche crust. That's right, and yeah, we did it. But that's a whole other set of skills. Um, doing a really good pie crust because you know you gotta get that recipe from your grandma to do it right. It is, it is. I have not actually attempted a pie crust. My sister in law is fantastic at them. Um, when we used to bake together, she would make pie crusts. Um, Hannah, I need your recipe if you're listening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Top with a little bit of the green part of the chives. And this, well, those are scallions. The I said scallions. chives I earlier. Mean, yeah, I did yeah. too. <laughs> I did too. Um, and then those can also go in the salad too. So it's kind of a dual thing. We just top everything with It some, is. I like that. With some scallions. Mm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Just like that. A little bit of salt and pepper. One final little whatever. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. That's pretty much it. Let's plate this little goodness. This one I will use. A fork. A fork. A fork. I'll treat it like it's for company and it isn't just for us. Boom, look at that guy. Scoop that right on there. And this is a really healthy meal. Um, she's always sneaking in delicious things that are actually healthy because I'm like, more donuts, donuts, chocolate sauce. Um, so it's good to kind of have something that is really delicious. I wish you guys could smell this. It does smell incredible. Um, you know how food is sold is by the smell. So you guys kind of miss out on that. Smell of vision. vision. Yep, yep. <laughs> Coming soon from Al Bundy Television. <laughs> or Elon Ooh. Musk, whoever gets there first. I think that's more like Al Bundy territory. I think Elon Musk is like, there's things I don't want to smell. He's like, if we could remove smells from things, I would. Boom, look at that. Perfect. A little bit more Beautiful. radishes yes, for this absolutely. one. The radishes are like one of my favorite parts. I mean, you know, aside from the ranch, because that's really the best. Boom. But... <laughs> look at that. More radishes. So radish. More radishes. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Oh, let me kind of... Get these little yep. scrappings, I like to keep it clean. You know how we are. That's the OCD in me. I try, mm -hmm. I try, I try. I read a meme the other day. It says, I don't have ACD. I'm just apparently a mother. <laughs> because I just go around tidying things up. Boom, boom. All right. That looks great. Oh, look at this. That is healthy and delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh, healthy-ish. Yeah, right? <laughs> look how that guy turned out. So pretty. All right. Here we go. All right, you guys. This is corn and what was it? Corn and goat cheese quiche with? With butter lettuce salad. Yummy and radishes. It's and delicious. Radishes. All right, you guys. Whack, whack, whack. You got to be this one careful because otherwise it's going to slow Yeah, it is going to jump. <laughs> whack, whack, whack. So That's slow mo. No slow mo. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, show some love on t-shirt, be your thing. Bye guys.